and welcome to Hearing Dogs for Deaf People. My name's Charlotte and we are going to learn all about the exciting work of this charity. Today I am joined by this gorgeous puppy called Pepe. He's only eight weeks old. But one day this teeny tiny pup is going to grow up to be a fully trained hearing dog and help a deaf person. Dogs are very clever animals and we can teach them all sorts of special tricks. Now, dogs have an excellent sense of smell, much better than humans, but they also have an excellent sense of hearing. They can hear really, really high pitched sounds and also sounds a lot further away than what we can hear. Here at Hearing Dogs, we have lots and lots of special dog training experts who teach our dogs how to alert a deaf person to the sound of the telephone, the doorbell, and even danger signals like the smoke alarm. Let's meet 12-year-old Poppy and her hearing dog Maddie to find out a little bit more about what it's like to have a hearing loss. Imagine if you closed your eyes, it was like that for hearing, you just like, what are you saying? I don't know. It's just like, you couldn't, you couldn't interact with anything. Before I had Maddie, I couldn't sleep very well because I used to always get up at night and check my parents were there. Um, if I went to talk to someone, and but I wouldn't have the courage to because I didn't know what, I couldn't hear what they were saying. I would feel very like withdrawn and just keep myself to myself. And that's where hearing dogs come in. We want to help deaf people by training dogs to alert them to everyday sounds and danger signals. Let's go back to Poppy and find out some of those clever tricks her hearing dog Maddie can do. The most common way she alerts me is pawing me and um, that she, that's how she alerts me. Um, when she wakes me up, she um, gets her paw and sort of like pulls the cover. Hello. Being deaf is often described as an invisible disability. Because we can't see deafness, strangers often can't tell if somebody is deaf or not. So by wearing this special jacket, people like you and me can see that this dog is working and that their owner has a disability so that we can all be more aware. I used to feel invisible because they, the people that we used to come up and start talking to my mum or something, they wouldn't actually talk to me because of my hearing aid, they thought I couldn't hear. We've learnt that hearing dogs alert their deaf person to sounds like the telephone ringing or a text message, the alarm clock in the morning to wake them up, a doorbell ringing when someone comes over, a fire or smoke alarm to warn them of danger. Hearing dogs also give their deaf person a sense of confidence, safety, happiness and friendship. But don't just take our word for it. Here's Poppy's mum to tell us how Maddie helps not just Poppy, but the entire family. Maddie's had a huge positive impact on us as a family. Wherever we go, she now acts as an icebreaker uh, between, I feel, between the deaf world and the hearing world. For example, she'll come shopping with us and so many people to this day approach us. They're interested in hearing dogs as a charity. They're interested in how Maddie helps Poppy and Poppy has actually approached herself and people immediately communicate with her. She is my ears and I, um, I don't just think of her as a hearing dog, I think of, think of her as my best friend. If you'd like to find out more about our clever hearing dogs, then check out the website. Now it's down to people like you raising money so that we can train more dogs, just like Pepe here, to be hearing dogs for deaf people. 